What's up, Gemini? What it do? What it do? You came to find out in my channel what's going on with you? You about to find out, Gemini. Welcome to Pink Scorpion Intuitive Readings. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I'm here to tell you the truth. And the truth tells me, Gemini. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. All right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the energy surrounding Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Something you discovered, Gemini, about yourself that's bringing your status up. You're at peace with this discovery. Some of you are not dealing with your families. You're at peace not dealing with your family. Some of you fellas, um, you usually was the loving man to your family, but right now you ain't in no loving mood. Somebody is in a stuck energy. This is why you're not feeling loving. Okay, Spirit, show me the energy surrounding Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the overall energy surrounding Gemini. You're letting go. And you're letting the universe take over. You're no longer playing the victim mentality. Oh, you're letting go of something, okay? I see three here, three doors here for you, Gemini, to walk through. One of them is fully open for you to go through, and the other two is slightly open. And it's like you're going through a storm. Somebody is going through chaos. Um, maybe this victim mentality had you in chaos. Conflict. Just in and just feeling in a, a sunken mood. But the universe got you. And this is just the energy that you're dealing with of, of letting go. But you're actually going through some con some um, conflict. So now that you realize that this is just the energy just trying to fuck with you, you're no longer playing a victim mentality. You're the loving woman. People love you. Spirit love you. For some reason, you're feeling like you're not you're not um, connecting with spirit, though. But they, they want to tell you. They're telling me to tell you the truth, Gemini. The truth is spirit got you. Okay, baby? All of this conflict that you're going through is a test. Because you're on, I, you're on a um, honoring path. And that's your intention. But right now you're wearing a mask. You haven't found your true love. And the reason you're letting go of something is because you haven't found your true love. The relationship that you're in is a lot of conflict and chaos and you're a loving woman. Or you're a loving man. But you're, you're, you're fooling yourself and you're fooling others. You try to pretend like you're not going through conflict when you really are. And you're feeling like, I don't want to keep saying you're feeling like, you're feeling like, you're feeling, or you're this, or you're this. This is what the cards are showing me, the energy. Okay, Gemini. Don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to put no energies on you. I'm just saying somebody is has energy out there. But as I listen to myself, 
when I'm saying you're this. I don't want to manifest that in your life. If this is not going on with you, then don't accept it. Okay. I'm just reading the cards. But I do have my sage. It then went out. I was burning my sage. It then went out. I'm not trying to put no bad energy, but somebody is going through some conflict right now. And the person who's going through some conflict is a very loving fucking person. And this energy had you feeling, you know, playing the victim. Tornadoes been 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 hitting you. Storms. Some of you is dog walkers. It's a man. Maybe a female. If the picture shows a female, but I feel like it's a man out there. You walk three dogs. It's part of a it's part of your way of, of helping some old people. You're not doing this because you need to. You're doing it because, for one, you love animals. Two, you love helping senior citizens and older people. You have the vast universe in you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Behind the mask, you're a loving woman. That's the heart of your energy. You're loving. You're kind, Gemini. But it's something that you must let go of. Okay? With three, these, these three doors. See how that one door is fully open? See those other doors? They barely open. See those three dogs? Okay? When I look at this card... It's like you may have came out of a door, but see how that this mist of, of, of what is it, stars or it's just, you know, an energy. And you you maybe some of you have three partners. Maybe you have three boyfriends because you're not into a real relationship. You just have three people that you're seeing and maybe it's putting you through a lot of conflict. Trying to hold on to these three partners. But now you're letting go. Some of you, it wasn't even, it wasn't, you weren't having sex with these people. It's just like you have, you have more of a, uh, you get along better with males. And maybe these males that you hang around, they have feelings for you. But you don't have them, them same feelings for them. And maybe some of them, that's what it is. Some of them is, they popping up at your door too much. They coming in and coming out and, and they like competing with each other. You ain't telling nobody that this is going on. Because even though you're not having sex with these people, other people see all these different guys coming in your house. You ain't having sex with them. You just sometimes just watch movies with them, eating popcorn. They're your homeboys, you know. But other people on the outside is looking at, why does Gemini have all these men there? Why does Gemini have all these women there? Where you're just kind and loving. Okay, and this is bringing conflict into your life because other people is thinking that you out there, you know, like slutting and doing all kinds of shit. But you have the, the universe. Some of you are spiritually talking to these people and it's bringing conflict from outsiders looking in, bringing conflict. You trying to help these people and they saying you sleep with them. Some of you is not connect. This, this is why I'm saying you're not connecting with spirit. Angels of the four directions in reverse. Maybe some of you need to re to reach out. Spirit, tell me more for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me more. What's the next message? 
the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Increase stuck energy, the loving man, great gratitude, <coughs> peace, your higher self. Joyous fun, the sacred temple in reverse, the teacher, and the loving man in reverse. And let me explain to you, Gemini, when I read reversals, it's some readers out there, they don't read reversals. That's them. Um, it's how you look at, at reversals. Some reversals may come on positive cards or some reversals may come on negative cards. So wouldn't you rather see a, a card as negative in reverse? That's why I read reversals. Okay, plain and simple. Get negative cards and they come out reverse. That means that shit that's being thrown or that's negative is not happening. That's how I read. I can't speak for the other readers. But anyway, Gemini, here's an increase here. I see um, someone is at peace being in stuck energy. Wow. Someone is at peace not being a lovely, a loving man. Wow. Someone is at peace. Not praying, not having, you know, not connecting with um, the divine. This energy is, is at peace because they didn't make some money or they got some money. This person don't care that their car is broke down. They are in loving. But I see you using your higher self to try to teach this person about having fun, about showing great gratitude. Maybe you showed this person about this gratitude, um, how to show, how to give thanks, and their money is going good, right? But even though their money is going good, their car ain't working, their truck ain't working. They just sitting on top of that motherfucker in the mud and they ain't trying to move it because they done got an increase in money. They ain't loving nobody. They ain't care nobody. They don't care. They just pe at peaceful. They looking at all the sorts of blockages and obstacles that they can put in somebody's face. Wow. But I see you here, Gemini. You looking at this person and their peace. And you, you, you got your heart. You got your, your, you're speaking to your higher self with this person who's non-loving in this stuck energy and is in that peace. And you try to teach this person. Now, this could be your energy. You may be at peace. You may be stuck, but you're at peace. You may not even be stuck. You may just have people to believe or think that you're stuck, but you're not. Because you know it's just the energy. And it's somebody in intention to be at peace. Whoever this person is with this stuck energy that's at peace, they're having fun. The same energy of them being stuck, they're stuck in some joyous fun. Now that may, that may be you, Jemma. Just because your car broke down, that don't mean you stuck. You may have friends. You got other people that's that ain't stuck. Okay? So they're, this person, just because their car is broke down, they still having fun. Tell me more, Spirit. Oh, 
hold on. Okay, Gemini, sorry about that. That was my oldest son, my twin. If you want to check out my community board, you'll see a picture that him, he posted of me and him together. That's why I just paused the video. He just called me. He's off work today. Because I forget today is Sunday. Yeah, so um, a great achievement came out. This uh, this 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 person whose car broke down, they know it's just the energy. That's why they ain't tripping. They know it's just the energy. This person isn't loving though. They ain't bringing nobody no flowers. <laughs> Cause you try to teach this person something, so they mad. They don't want to learn. We know this though, man. Oh. So this energy of this person, the they with their car breaking down, they they really don't care about that car. They really don't care about that truck, whatever vehicle it is they're driving. They really don't care. But they're being they're being um, unloving because they they feel like that they don't deserve love. OK, they don't feel like they deserve love. So they're out here playing the victim mentality where one time you were Gemini. Maybe you're not anymore. OK, someone feels like they don't deserve love. So because they don't feel like deserve, they deserve love, they ain't giving no flowers to nobody. They ain't talking to nobody. They ain't trying to go out. They just they just don't care. But I see here that you've, you've connected with your higher self. You show gratitude. You're having joyous fun. You're at peace. Okay. Tell me more about this stuck energy. So this person, they're not really stuck. It's just energy. And they know it's the energy. They don't give a fuck. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. Wow. This card don't even belong in this deck. Look. Change your focus. Gemini. Change your focus. Hidden motivations. Yeah, if somebody is not um, speaking to the ascending masters. They're not connecting the spirit, but you are. You're having fun with your family. You and you're at peace, and you have a discovery. Some of you have found out that you have family that you didn't know about. Some of you have discovered that you're a diamond in the rough. Some of you have discovered. Something you thought you lost that you haven't. Oh, you thought you lost family, but you haven't. You discovered that you haven't lost your family. Somebody discovered that they haven't lost their family. Thank you, spirit. Somebody, somebody has courage to go towards their family. They've been going back and forth with their family and they thought they lost them. So now someone has, has uh, seeked professional assistance. And is and, and you're not you didn't lose your family. That's great. You discovered a great achievement. You discovered that it, it yeah it's it's it is what it is. Somebody discovered something about the family. You could have been going back and forth with someone in your family. You could have thought you lost your family. But you discovered that you haven't lost your family. You have. See, it was somebody's intention in your family to keep you going back and forth. It was their intention. 
to have you going back and forth with your family. Somebody didn't want your family to see who you were. Now your family has realized who you are. And you're a diamond in the rough. You're the diamond who was they you're the diamond they was looking for. You're the missing link. You're the special person they was looking for. It's some you're the chosen one. That's what it is. And now that they discovered that you're chosen, your family coming back and forth. Gemini. Gemini, I need your professional assistance. I'm being spiritually attacked. Something is going on. Gemini, can you please help me? And this is your family. They didn't know that you knew about spirituality. They didn't know that you was the diamond, baby. Now they know. These are family. Oh, thank you, spirit. This is family members. They cast you out. They kicked you to the curb. They swept you under the roof. They did you wrong. Yeah. And some of them you haven't been in contact with them. And now it's been years. And within these years, you have evolved. You have upgraded to something as valuable as a diamond to them. And they feel like Gemini is that diamond. So now they want to be close to you. They want to be all up in your energy. Because what is the diamond? Valuable. Beautiful. Sparkly. Everyone wants one. Okay? This is why they knocking on your door. Jim and I. They discover. That you're the diamond in the rough, baby. You hear it, Gemini? You see how he's looking at that diamond? That's how your family looks at you. Okay? They discover everything that you've been trying to tell them. And they also discovered by you withdrawing yourself away from them, you're at peace. You're not dependent on their energy. You're not crying because they ain't calling you no more. But within all this time that you've been gone away from them, you wasn't mad at them. You just stayed away. A lot of them thought they was mad at you was mad at them. A lot of them thought you was acting funny towards them, but you was just finding yourself. You was just connecting with your higher self. And now maybe they didn't seen you. Maybe they didn't heard about you. Maybe you become famous and, and now they want to know. I discovered that Gemini is that one. Gemini is the chosen. She chosen. We treated Gemini bad. We stopped talking to Gemini. We stopped calling Gemini. But even though everybody stopped talking to you, you still was right here. Who was right here with you? You see that? A magician. You're very creative. You're connected with spirit. You use your third eye and you know how to self heal. So by you doing that and having that type of attitude towards yourself, self loving and self caring, because maybe hell, some of your, your, your family, friends, and all of them was toxic. Now they see they're they're understanding and seeing what they toxicity has, has where it has got them. They see where their toxicity has got them and where you are when you left that toxicity. So now they're knocking on your dough, Gemini, because they see you the diamond in the rough. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop it right here. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to donate to my channel, the information is in the description box below. And if you would like a personal reading, a pre-recorded personal reading, um, email me and it's $25 for a personal pre-recorded reading. So inbox me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com and we go from there. And the information, I don't know my PayPal and my Cash App names by heart. So you got to, you know, um, look in the description box below this video. Okay, just click where it say um, see more, read more, click it and you'll see the information. All right, peace.